Hello and welcome to part 7 of this Civilization 5 Let's Play series. If you'd like to catch up on the other parts, I will have a card up the top right hand corner of the screen right about now. I'll bring you to the playlist and you can watch through the episodes. A quick little recap, we're fighting Arabia, losing I have to say. I had to take a peace deal because otherwise it was game over. And my Hail Mary, my last attempt will be in the next 10 turns I'm going to build my army up and I'm just going to take this city. I'm just going to take it in one f uh, one quick go, or that's the hope anyway. And um, I'm hoping then, defending this city with a bit of forest around it, I'll be able to whittle his army down, then take Baghdad, take Mecca, and hopefully then turn around and attempt to take on these other two sips. The problem with all this is I'm massively behind. Uh, they have 32 techs. Even Austria has 30, and uh, Siam has 28. I'm down on 20. So this is not looking uh, the most likely uh, turn of events. Um, claiming land near them. Uh, mind your own business. <laughs> I, where did I claim land? So I took that ages ago. I think I lost a... It's been a week or so for me. I've been on holidays. I think I lost a great general, which might have been useful. I would love to... Yeah, if I had a great general, two great generals, I only have one. I think I might plop one down here and then one down here. Might be a reasonable um, thing to do. Scott. Okay, so this guy is spying on me. I don't know why you would. Could Feel free to go ahead. Like, I don't particularly care. Oh, we found out that um, Arabia is spying on her. I understand. So, share intrigue with her and move on um all right so i will try and go quick ish in this because we're just going to be building up our units and uh, our cities oh somebody somebody really helpfully pointed out that i had missed the tile or this i'm not sure how long ago this happened but i lost out on the the road by losing this uh, forest tile i lost out on the road through to uh, my second city, which probably cost me quite a bit of happiness and um, Quite a bit of happiness and a little bit of money even All right, uh, we need We have room for another caravan. That's good. What else do I need? I think I just need military units. I think in the 10 turns I'm gonna be able to just about build um, Units, so let's just have all of them built. Although it's just getting worse and worse for me Um um, when it comes to my economy but look I don't know if there's anything I can really do about it I do seem to be producing quite a bit of money I'll try and upgrade a good few of these units and um, if I can um, for now we'll just heal everyone and uh, get one or two over to fight that barbarian that's over there yeah you'll pay for this this time I don't really need to worry too much about anything <laughs> well until i go to war again and perhaps lose so i need to keep an eye on little things like this uh, I, I definitely want to just take out great generals that are on the border right uh, i think i should be able to kill him with a couple of these guys uh, i'll leave him in the city because that'll get me a bit more money a bit more culture that sort of thing and uh, perhaps is there a, a camp somewhere over here here's a camp over here uh, I think that's probably worth going over to we'll get one there another one from the top um, I think uh, I'm not sure if I'd get him over there and back in time uh, now nah, we we'll leave the we we'll leave the archer where he is and I might move this one guy yeah, since he's healed already. All right, anything important? I'm going to try and go quick. I'd like to finish this episode off before... Uh, I'd like to, in this episode, or maybe in this maybe in this episode, already attack Arabia. But certainly in this episode, I'd like to do the 10 turns, rebuild my army, and be ready to attack Arabia. I'm not sure if it's a reasonable uh, thing to uh, hope for, though. Right, uh, we, I guess I need more attacking than anything else, so we'll, we'll go shock as much as I can, and um, yeah, that's, that made a big difference, nice, 
Okay, two turns and we'll have this city back up and running. Um, you know what, the, the units I already have over here should be enough to go and capture that Barbarian camp. Yeah, I, I do need things like Circus Maximus, but I think uh, more importantly would be units. I get two catapults, uh, get them just about ready in time to have them stationed. Where would I have them stationed though? Let me just double check the relief map. No, it's only this tile and this tile and th then these two that are touching the city that can actually attack them. So what I really need to do is have a catapult here, a catapult here, then move the units into these tiles to defend the catapult. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing much hope here, but I'm going to stay going. I don't think it's completely hopeless, though. Right, oh... <laughs> Hey, long swordsman. Um, how much is it going to cost me to upgrade these guys? I would have thought I'd already be able to upgrade them. It requires fifty. Oh, I'm missing iron. Is that it? I see. I think I've. I think I have a bit of iron. I've never actually worked it. That's what's happening here. Uh, we have a manufactory on that one, so I do have some iron. I must just be trading it out. So I have iron there and I have six here available. Um, so I need a worker to start working on that straight away, really. Uh, let's get him down there. I should have done that a turn or two ago. Uh, this worker, though, might be finished in time. Uh, what I could do with is actually another great uh, person to plop down on the tile. No. You know what I'll do? I'll take a little break. I'm just going to have a quick look at all my cities and see if there's any improvements I can make. I'm also going to throw a quick ad in here. I only do it every about five videos, so hopefully it's not too much for you. As a way to support my channel, I'd like to introduce you to the web browser that I use. It's called Brave. You'll have no difficulty using it as it works very similar to Chrome or Firefox, and you can easily import bookmarks and passwords from your current browser. The big advantage to this browser is it blocks out all the usual ads you see, but if you opt in, you can choose to be sent ads as notifications. The difference being you will be rewarded for viewing of these ads. It won't be a lot. I make about four euro a month, but that's better than the nothing you will make on other browsers. If you'd like to try this out yourself, go to the download link in the description below. It will work on both desktop and mobile. Download and try for 30 days. I'll receive a reward and you'll be helping my channel a lot. Now back to the video. It looks like that great general that was hanging around was up to no good. He set up a citadel here, stole some more of my land, which is a big problem. Um, I, I really wish I had put the citadel there now. But uh, we'll have to we'll have to just carry on. I couldn't I couldn't afford to lose a great general. I don't think, uh, given that, um, I am going to need them to win the war. All right, let's get this uh, guy surrounded. Did he attack me? Is that's what's happening, or was he getting hit by tear? Uh, I think we can just hang it on there a second. Um, yeah, let's get you. I don't know there's no time to get him over there. Uh, there's time to get some of these units over and back to that defensive spot. All right. Uh, right, we're just... You know what? We're not going to get this iron in time. Definitely not, I don't think. Uh, let's see. Let's get the road. See how much that helps my happiness. I didn't see any change in my happiness at all, uh, but it must have helped my money. Maybe it's next turn it comes in a bit. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm not going to have this iron in time unless I have a great person. And I'm not going to get a great person. I checked that out last turn. Anyway, we'll just have to carry on. There's nothing I can really do about it. <laughs> More great wonders. You know, if, if these, this plan, this real pie-in-the-sky plan works, um, at least I will be getting lots of, uh, um, lots of wonders. <laughs> so that's good, I guess. Okay, I think I only need one of these guys to come down and the other guy can uh, fall back and heal up a little bit. Right, let's see uh, how much this is going to cost me time-wise. Um, again, we'll just go shock on everyone. Shock and awe is what I need in this uh, case. And uh, let me just set up a couple of Mohawk Warriors. Did our happiness improve? Nope. Um, or has the turn ended? I don't think it has, actually. Yeah, uh, that, that should keep uh, our Mohawks going. Okay, who's this? Uh, declared War. Oh, that's nice. 
Arabia and yeah. Austria are at war yeah, with each other. Uh, we'll go ahead and take some money off this guy for a few moments. Uh, how much fur have I got? I uh, probably have enough for everyone. Uh, does anybody else want some? Oh, uh, Siam actually does. Um, yeah, we'll we'll try we'll try and remember to trade it with him once this deal ends. Oh, religion. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm falling apart. <laughs> You'd be right in saying I'm spiraling. Um, I would not disagree with you. Let me go ahead and uh, get some of my religion moving. Uh, we'll bomb a couple of these cities at least. All right, a bit of experience. I was assuming a kill, but uh, no. Okay, it'll only take six turns to build us a mine. Um, how long until this war can get started? Five turns. You know, I think it probably is worth then waiting on that, and we'll go ahead and upgrade some of my Mohawk warriors. I'll move. Uh, I'll move the ones into position that um, that I'll have the most experience. Yeah, so six turns, we're going to war. Um, let me, yeah, what I'll do, I'll take another pause. Uh, I'll wait till next turn, but I'll take another pause just to check out which units go where. Um, I don't really, you know, I would like a unit up here for the culture and the bit of money I get. How much is it? Let's see. Um, so it's no money, and um, I never kept an eye on the culture. Screw it. Uh, I'm moving these, these units down. Oh, we can't go any farther, I see. Yeah, I'll move him down into the war because I'm not going to win this in one uh, failed swoop. So I'll ha it'll have to be an ongoing uh, um, event. Uh, we'll keep going at war. And uh, how about building... Let's see. I, I was thinking... Start helping with my economy up here. Yeah, let's get a caravan at least. Move that into the capital and uh, send it somewhere. Okay, I'm going to take a little pause. I'm going to check which units are the most experienced, um, which have the highest levels. I'm going to move them to the front line, and I'm going to make sure they get their promotions uh, first before I go into war. Uh, what else? Um, no, that's pretty much it. I'm still waiting on two catapults to get them into position. Okay, not great news on that front. I have four level five Mohawk warriors. Uh, two of them are over here, so they might probably won't get back in time. They'll get back in time to defend this city, I hope. Um, the other two will get down here in time. Yeah, it has to be enough. Like it's we're at that point in the game where it really doesn't matter. It just has to be enough. If it's not, it's not. It's game over. So uh, might as well roll the dice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how, we think we only have about four turns left. Um, ooh. Is that good or bad in the sense that at least we get a little uh, bit of practice? Um, let's see. Where have I got a nice um, hill? This hill here is pretty nice for the catapult. Yeah, I got a, a little bit of extra experience here. Um, I don't know if... Uh, it's going to be worth the time it takes me. Uh, because all this time is obviously helping out Arabia as well. Alright, we have a caravan to come back. Let's see, we can't send it to Arabia. Uh, good. It's good that uh, we're not at war with either of these city-states anymore. Um, oh, speaking of city-states, maybe I can steal from some... You know, I'm just going to send him off there. The next caravan will... Yeah, I thought I might lose out on that kill. All right. All right. Um, phew, not going to probably... We're probably not going to get those in time. Let's see. Fix up the, the, the marble. And um, let's get uh, some of these missionaries working. So get, I'll get it up to three. Does this get to four? I, I think I'm going to need a couple of more missionaries. We'll see how we get on, though. Okay, here's one of my level fives. Uh, we'll move him to the front line, get him ready to go. And, uh, yeah, we should, we'll clear that out without much trouble. Okay, Siam seeks war against Arabia. All right, we will certainly, we won't go to, 
two happiness that's not too bad yeah we won't uh we won't steal from you then and that's the only person we can steal from so let's move on now there's also a very good chance arabia might declare war instantly oh stealing more land <laughs> at least he's left us a path through not to this city though more unhappiness as likely in that case Oh my god, we lost the iron. That's even worse. I guess, like I said, the plan has to go ahead. There's nothing I can really do about it except um, push forward. And whew, I don't want to say hope for the best, but I don't really know how else to phrase it. Let's see. Yeah, uh, Let's try and get this kill anyway. Oh, he can step in and actually attack me. I, I don't see why I can't attack units on the water. Like, I understand it. Maybe there should be a massive penalty, just like there is from attacking from water to land. But uh, I don't see why it's not uh, possible. All right, we'll get this catapult. Just another hit point. And uh, that should heal you up fully. That's nice. Get everyone to the front line, and we'll see how we get on. Okay, there's a possibility this might convert. Them. No, uh, another two of them should do it. Yeah, I, like I have lots of bonuses when attacking because of my culture. I have a full authority tree. Like it's going to have to do a lot of work against the, the experienced units I'm up against. How long until this catapult? Three turns. Um, we have peace tree for three more turns. It would take another two or so turns to get a catapult down. I'm not going to have iron ready at all. Let me see if I can cancel two of my iron. Uh, to Siam and to Austria. Let's uh, let me see how possible it is to uh, end these deals. Is it in discuss? Yeah. Nope. Um, trade no demand. I guess maybe you can't anymore. I know some old games you used to be able to end trade deals. You know, I'm gonna take a quick little pause and see if I can figure this out. No, no good. I found uh, where my current deals are, but there's no uh, end deal early. Uh, like, you used to be able to do that in all games. There was a, certainly a large penalty to doing it. But um, in this case, it would probably be worth it to get a couple of upgraded units. Right, well, I'll, yeah, I don't know. I think this is probably going to be the last video, but I'm going to stick with it just to have an attack, just so he's going to have a definitive ending of me... <laughs> Well, basically hurting myself against this guy. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and give that a go. Right, let's get you... I can't... Actually, I can't even leave this enclave, so we'll just uh, stay growing units. Oh, I can, uh, I can go ahead and buy a catapult, perhaps. I can certainly buy these. Yeah, they're, they're going to be useful. I don't know how to pronounce them. Land sharks, I always call them. But they may, in fact, be useful. Um, let's get him up onto the hill. And, uh, yeah, the the plan is, as always, just hope for the best. <laughs> I, I'm even thinking, you know what I'll do? Yeah, let me edit out a couple of turns. And if anything interesting happens, I'll pop back in like they steal more land. But I'll probably edit out about two or three turns. Let's get me ready for this war. And uh, you can see me attack. You can see me run headlong into this brick wall, and see how how well that does for me. Okay, I think this is interesting enough to bring you back. I have a new uh, policy to adopt and a tech to steal. Also, let's uh, send this guy off on a trade deal. Um, I guess uh, I'll get just get a little bit of money. Okay, so what kind of policy could i adopt i don't think anything would really help me in this war maybe i could adopt uh, some sort of religious policy well does that help a little when fighting near a religious city perhaps and um, so adopting this can purchase monasteries with faith um cost for purchasing buildings and missionaries yeah i can see some use in that uh, my religion is quite important to me in this game i think uh, progress for a bit of science to help catch up on the science front Hmm, statecraft. I'm not going to beat um, the other two civs after Arabia in this game when it comes to statecraft. So, you know, I think I'll go progress. Uh, we'll finish progress off and then we'll go more militaristic. 
um, tree. All right, that allows me to upgrade my catapults anyway, if I have enough money to do it. And okay, what are we gonna steal? Oh, that also allows me to um, steal machinery. Right, this is getting interesting. <laughs> I don't think it's interesting enough, but um, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll hold out some hope, I guess. Uh, what am I looking at here? He's just done well, so I don't really need anything there. Uh, but let's let's build up some of these old uh, techs. Right, I will pause out another uh, turn or two, and I'll get this guy. Um, I'll get these guys in position. Um, it's going. I'm gonna have to upgrade the catapult. Do I have money? I probably will have money. So two turns. Although the peace deal ends in one turn, he could declare war against me. Um, you know what? I'll stay. I'll make sure you are here for changing of the turns. Uh, just because it's interesting to see if he just jumps on me. You know what? I guess it's possible that he could declare war this turn. Um, if this peace treaty ends on my turn and um, before he goes, I'm not sure which way it works. So let's uh, just make sure you're here for that possibility. Let's see. No, I don't think he has declared war on me at least. Um, he's also at war with Austria. I wonder how close are they? Yeah, they do have borders. That might be taking up a bit of his time. <laughs> Although it's sort of funneling his units through my area. So it doesn't do all that much good for me. Um, anyway, so we are now able to declare war. I just don't think it's probably that good of an idea yet. I'll get these guys upgraded. Let's uh, get them into positions first. This would be one position. And um, you will need to get into this position here. All right, let's make sure we have our um, our level five units. There's one level five, and uh, I don't I don't think I see another one in this area. He might be in the. I ah, hear he is probably here. Yeah. Okay. So this is another one. And um, so here's one. Here's two. I. Yeah, I'd like to get you into this tile. Did he move? Oh, this guy can't move all the way back. I see. That's that's no problem. Uh, we'll get you into this tile, and I'll get him into this tile here. Oh, there is enough then to upgrade him. If they do declare war, I've just lost him, but I have to take a few risks, I think, at this point. Um, and, yeah, I'm just moving all the troops up. Okay, we are going to war next turn. It might be the most ill-advised, shortest war in history, but to hell with it, we're doing it because I don't really see any other choices in the matter. I'm just going to go ahead and automate these. Uh, that's probably more of a sign of how desperate I'm feeling. Um, is this the only guy that can use this? I guess uh, I'll go to Zurich because I... Oh, I import... Uh, religion in Zurich. I'd like to export some religion, but he doesn't have it yet. Uh, I guess I could just spread my religion up there. I don't know why I haven't done that. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and do that. I think I'll earn a bit more faith a bit faster. Okay, let's see if he declares war on me first, it, which is, I think, a real concern right now. He's certainly at least surely going to ask me, do I intend to declare war on him? The answer is yes, yes I do. Did he just build a citadel? Is my unit going to pop out of the way? I don't think so. Doesn't look like a citadel. There is only one. All right, here, here it goes. Quite literally, perhaps nothing. Um, these uh, these archers are going to be able to get fairly deep into my territory. Um, but whatever. Let's uh. Let's get into his territory as well, if and when we can. Okay, I'm still building up in the background <laughs> because, well, I have hope somehow. Not sure how or why. Right, declare war. Let's do it. Oh, in the Probably moment. for the last time. I really think I could have done so much better with this, uh, with what I had here with the starting point, but... Whatever. Right, any free uh, kills, first of all. So, I need you to t kill him. Um, I think. Uh, can I get this archer anywhere? Oh, no, he can already shoot from there. Oh, he has two attacks as well. That's nice. 
Okay, so, yeah, I just need to get him down low enough that he gets the kill, because that way I can get another unit into this tile. I'll have a unit in this one. I'll have a unit here. And let's move some of these in now. Oh, I should have moved uh, somebody onto this hill here. Okay, we will have to use one of these attacks on him. I forgot he can just back up like an asshole. All right, uh, start attacking the city. Very important. And then we'll just get units uh, in as deep as possible. Actually, we, we got a kill, technically. It's only a worker, but I'm going to take it. Um, can I not get... No, he's one deep into the territory. Okay. Um, I There's no point going uh, too deep all the way down here because these are all going to die. <laughs> so I need more to replace them. I can't help but feel if I'd worked like this the first time round, I might have done a hell of a lot better. All right, I think that's all we can do. We're going to get two happiness from that, which is nice. Right, let me zoom out a little bit and just see how much carnage is going to be put on us here. Can I get this city? Oh, maybe next turn. Um, caravan, move it to the capital. Okay. Somehow just fall on your own sword and die? Like, is that... That possibility. Don't go into the war. Or use the use the woods, man. Okay, how many are we gonna lose? Oh, we got a good bit of money um, from caravans going through the area. That's nice. All right, see a lot of splash damage from those those guys. Uh, yeah, we will work together. We are friends. And um, you know what? Not nearly as bad as it could have been. So that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, let's accept the embassy. Yeah, whatever. I, I don't, I'm not really thinking too much about this. I'm more curious what kind of damage was done. Yeah. Uh, the problem with them just falling back is such a nasty um, ability. Right, let's uh, let's see who actually died here. Uh, so that unit that was there, okay. Unit that was there. And then we have some promotions. So I think did we make two units and lose two units? So that's a that's a pretty good sign. Oh no, we this guy wasn't made. Yeah, I really don't want to lose such a high powered unit. Blitz attack and I, I'll just take this kill. I think. Yeah, let's get let's go with that. Um, you're in the territory here. I was hoping he'd fall back, actually. <laughs> that uh, didn't work out exactly as I intended. Um, ah, that's a little unfortunate. You know what? Maybe I will fall back and heal this guy up. Yeah, let's let's not uh, get stupid. Let, let's still try and play right. Uh, I don't want to get too um, out of position over here. I'm still going to need all my units in and around this area. Okay, uh, this this guy with logistics is doing some great work. That's fantastic. Um, we I've already maybe overextended a little bit. Yeah, I think I need one or two, uh, one of these units back here. Uh, we've had a great general that I don't think I've been utilizing fully, although he's done a bit for me there. Um. You know what, he'll probably fall back. There's nowhere for him to fall back, though, in his current position. So we might get the kill there. Let's move him into that position. That might give me extra um, flanking attack. So would that. Uh, what else is this guy doing for me? So let's try and get more flanking attack. Nearly enough. Uh, we could get the kill with a ranged attack eventually. Um... Yeah, I think I'll have to use one of the ranged attacks. Yeah, let's uh, do it first so he can move into this position. Okay, we got a kill. That's nice. Uh, should I... Yeah, let's stay attacking units, I think. Uh, it's probably worth, uh, worth my while more than attacking anyone else. Uh, again, I'll just automate these. I don't really have, has the, have the mental time to think about it. Uh, I didn't see what that upgraded to, but it doesn't seem to have been, have been enough. 
Okay, we'll just fall back. Really, this is all about keeping them busy over this part of the world. And uh, we'll go ahead and pillage as much of this land as I can get. Get into a forest to make them... Just make them take up more time on me. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to have to... Wait, how is it that doing much, so much damage to me? Um, Whatever, I... Actually, you know what? Let's keep him where he was so he can get over and help over here, which might actually be more necessary. Only three citizens. Where did I get all these extra missionaries from? He must have... I guess that was Austria bombed my city a little bit. You know what? Screw this. Go up here and convert that city. It'll be a lot easier. And uh, more Mohawks. Let me set these guys up. Um, it looks like I have too much money. I'm not going to get a chance to upgrade these. So let me go ahead and buy a few of those as well. All right, caravan. This hasn't gone as bad as I feared, but look, it's still, come on, it's not going great, really, it being realistic. What kind of uh, promotions has he got? Against horse units, that's going to be pretty good, and I think uh, probably worthwhile. Uh, let's get them, yeah, let's get them as far up as we can. Yeah, we'll get him uh, into his territory and move him up that way, perhaps. Okay. What's what's going to go wrong this turn? Four deaths. <laughs> Not completely unexpected, but still, probably too much to deal with. He, he keeps going after this uh, trebuchet instead of uh, this one. That might be um, exploitable. Okay, I'll give anyone open borders, just in the off chance you might move units through and help me. Although, more likely to kill me. Um, we lost a unit in this forest. So even in a forest, camel archers are just too powerful. Um, let's fall back into my own territory and hopefully he comes and just attacks me here. Yeah, right. Uh, let's... Oh, he. this guy's already in the territory. So can I move in and... Well, no, let's, let, yeah, we'll take the warrior and then I'll destroy this citadel next turn. Um, I think it's the best I can do with that. Just want to move some of these down, um, just to move them into position. Okay, do I have to move you back now or probably not given that you're going to get an upgrade. That should keep you alive a little bit longer. Uh, I think attack this city is probably the best play there. Um, holding the hill will might do the best work on that turn. Uh huh. You know what? I think I probably should have moved him back just so he could get into the citadel and double attack. Uh, you know what? There is room on those hills up there, isn't there, to attack a couple of positions. This hill here, for example. Uh, let's let's move him here because there's a good chance somebody will step into one of these positions and I'll have to make use of it. All right. Uh, I don't think I can really do much here. Uh, I think I'll leave this guy defending, um, this drill guy defending, and I'll move him back. All right, great general. Oh, you must have got hit by splash damage. Um, I, yeah, I won't attack with this guy either because he's sort of he, he's fairly important to me in that he's protecting the great general. I think anybody I leave in this tile is just getting themselves killed by archers. But yeah, I can't I can't move him. He's doing uh, he's protecting my trebuchet though. Um, so yeah, I'll have to keep him there as well. Okay. Uh, I wish I could get you into his territory. I just uh, I just don't want you where you are. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't have moved him up that direction at all. Okay, let's see. I think I'm going to lose just another three or four here, and it might be game over fairly soon. Okay. <laughs> Right, what did we lose? Three units, the land shark and a couple of tre a couple of uh, mohawks. Wow, look at those trebuchets! How did he survive, really? 
What is uh, I wish I had my archer the in the position he was in now. What is going on with this guy's movement? I guess I'm not in my own territory, so I'm not moving particularly fast. Yeah. That's so slow up there. Now, what's he going to do? Just pillage one tile? Okay, what can I do here? Let's see. Um, where can this guy attack and how can I get that done? He can't really attack anywhere. I have to move my trebuchets back. I'd say losing some of my ranged units earlier in the game is one of the things that actually cost me pretty dearly. Uh, I don't think I should have even left the crossbow unit there. But I guess I sort of have to in other ways. Um, I have to defend this citadel. It's not uh, It's not really up for discussion. Uh, let's get... Let's get this guy back. Uh, we'll leave this guy not in a forest. He doesn't get any bonus from forests. Um, can I... Yeah, I can uh, surround this, this citadel. Uh, we'll get the great general back as well. Uh, we'll get you up to sort of a front line position. And um, everyone else heal. We'll see what we can do. Okay, um, enact the world religion. No, I don't want that. Sanction Arabia. Yes, I will go ahead and vote for that one. Let's see. We'll go. I, I'm just clicking things. I'm not really thinking too much about them. I'm at the point in the game where I, part of me just wants it is to end. Uh, right, let's go into his tree. So we could get indirect fire. That would be useful for us. I... Usually I frown on... Actually, no, he doesn't automatically get it. Uh, that's uh, the artillery units I'm thinking of. So, yeah, let's get indirect fire. That means he could have he could have attacked where he was. Still, he's going to be quite powerful uh, next turn. I really don't think he'll be powerful enough. How many did we lose? Two units again. Ah, they got into them. They got into the crossbow. Not enough to kill him, but... Still enough to move them. Okay, that's game over. We we ran into the we ran into the brick wall. I said we would. Um, left a lot of units on the bench over here. The AI's got a lot smarter than it used to be. The AI used to just attack stupidly. Yeah, take out the front line, and they stay attacking with our back line, which uh, you could even just wipe out quite easily. Which uh, doesn't seem to be the case anymore. You know, while I have a logistics here, I can't help but just attack. You get the kill, and I'll heal you up. Here we go. Ah, oh, didn't even get the the kill. Okay, things are not going well for me. Um, who can get in there and get that kill? There we go. <laughs> I can't. I can't give up a game. I don't know what's wrong with me. I, uh, I was hoping. Well, he took so much of his health. Um, I was expecting them to fail on that uh, attempt, but. He seemed to do it a lot better than I was expecting. Um, all right. Anyway, that's it over. If you if you think I had a chance, what are you what are you thinking? Um, I'm gonna end it here. I'll do one more video in a couple of days where I'll do a little recap. Basically, I go to let me show you the sort of screen. I'll go to I'll hit retire and I'll go into replay here and I'll use uh, this map screen. And I'll, I'll use this just to talk through what happened in the game, my thought process. It should be a short enough in this game. Next series, I think I'll go back to... Can I, can I shut this guy up? Um, I think I will go back to um, to a longer style game because, uh, I, I don't know, this was difficult. I will try it quick again. I do like it as a video format. But, you know, I think I enjoyed a little longer game. It allows me to play war games a little bit more i think uh, my tactical ability while fighting is better than my micromanagement and i think in a longer game you just get more opportunity to do that whereas a shorter game you really have to have great micromanagement and uh, i've heard people call it min max you know you have to just be uh, fairly efficient uh, while doing it so after the next episode that i do a recap i will pick um what civ to go with and i'll put up a couple of maps for people to choose from so yeah, probably have the next uh, three or four days to get in some suggestions of what sieves you'd like to see. I, I won't necessarily pick your suggestion, but so you have to convince me. It's not it's not necessarily a vote. It's more of a uh, 
convince me what to pick and i'll go with it if you if you have convinced me i'll be doing a little longer uh, maybe the next next one down from quick standard uh, perhaps that seemed to work well enough or maybe i'll go even longer again but still uh, let me know in the next three or four days like i said and then i'll look through a few different starting maps and i'll put them up on my twitter on reddit uh, and uh, i'll do a youtube video uh, showing them and let you guys pick which one I start. Again, I, actually, again, I won't let you pick. I'll just let you convince me uh, which one uh, you, you would like me to start. All right, if that sounds good, I hope you enjoyed this series. And I'll see you for the recap and for the next series. Have a good one.